All right, welcome to another tutorial. I'm Sven, as you may know, and today we're going to look at using the AWS or Azure Marketplace instance of eGBCA to deploy your PKI with automation. This is for our users who want to be able to leverage cloud and do cool things with PKI, but not have to go through any of the configuration and use a tool such as Ansible to automate your CA creation, your certificate profiles, your end entity profiles, and your enrollment protocols. So it's just a matter of let's go use it at this point. So from there, let's go hop into this tutorial. The first thing we want to grab is our public IP, and we're going to put that into the inventory file so we can connect to our instance. And then we're going to run two plays or roles with the Ansible side to set up the silent wizard so we don't have to go through the configuration and then deploy. And we'll kick off our Ansible playbook. So this will connect and it's going to upload the answer file for the wizard and then the wizard's going to go through and configure the instance so you don't have to go through the web browser and click next next with all the settings this is taken care of and then that finishes and we get into the actual install and it's going to upload all of our configuration files we heavily leverage the config dump tool since this is eGBCA enterprise it creates our directory structure and then it uploads all of our template files that we'll use for importing in different stages. So you can see we have dump one, two, and three. And then we'll create the crypto token for our root CA and generate keys. And then we will initialize the root CA with config dump. And then we repeat this process for the sub CA now where we generate keys and create the CA. And that goes along. And then it, we can skip all these post configuration now, and it does now a mass import since we have the CA, so it'll bring in all the CERT profiles, identity profiles for us. And then to close out, we will just enable the enrollment protocols. That way we can go to enrollments. So Ansible finishes now, and now let's hop over to the web browser so we can go get our P12 and log in to the admin web. So we'll switch back over here, open another tab, and we'll go to the RA web of our instance and we'll accept that since it's using the management CA cert, which we don't have trusted yet. And then we're gonna to go to the enroll, use username, and we'll type in our super admin and the password we put into the Ansible values variable to come in and use. We're not gonna save that. Then we'll select the RSA 2048 and download the PKCS 12. So we'll get that file. And now we'll open up the settings on the web browser and we'll type in cert to quickly get to our little button down there to import the P12 file. So we have a bunch in here. We click the import button and then we go locate our super admin P12. All right, that one. We click open and now we'll type in our password to that P12 and then we'll click the sign in button and then we can click OK and go back over to the RA tab and we can change the URL to admin web, and then we'll accept our little cert prompt there, and we log in, and there, we have a whole configured eGBCA in the cloud in a matter of minutes. Your mileage may vary a little bit on how long this takes, depending on your connection speeds, but it's that simple to use Ansible to deploy a whole PKI setup in AWS or Azure with the eGBCA cloud in the marketplace. Thanks guys, and we'll see you on the next video.